still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. To use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community can draw and improve our preparedness for a potential cyber pandemic. friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who's one of the Rockefeller family, and he, uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to an attorney, and uh, we became friends, we started talking about things, and uh, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller, and one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. Goals of the uh, banking industry, not not just the financial system, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks, and they're and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central banking is one of the major planks of the Communist Manifesto. We talk about America being a capitalist country, but yet at the same time we have a central bank that plans everything for us. Right? And the graduated income tax is another plank of the Communist Manifesto, right? So right there you have two major planks of the Communist Manifesto that have been brought in because of the Federal Reserve System, okay? The ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R R an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is getting me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. Anytime you have money in your, in your, in your chip, And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting with it, they will, if you just turn off your chip, and you have nothing, you can't buy food. And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave, you become a serf to these people. That's their goal, that's their intentions. <laughs>